Borg Mode 9.0 just came out and it has a whole bunch of new link features that I want to talk about today. It might not seem like a big deal, but the links have really been expanded in a lot of ways and I'm going to go through a handful of examples here to show you. So the first thing is that all links are now defined as org link set parameters with a link name and then a plist of properties that follow. And these properties include a, a follow function, an export function, uh, you can change the face, so you can change the color, the, the font, the size, and the tooltip that goes on it. There's some other ones we'll see later, but this is the code that defines a red link, and you can see that it sets the foreground to red, and it has a help echo on it, so if you hover over this, you see click me for a message. If you want to change uh, the parameters, then down here you just change the, the face parameter, and you can change it from red to red underline, and that's what you see here. So you can use other faces as well, so if you like uh, to define your own faces, you can of course define a org link green face that's going to be inheriting from org link but be green in color. And then we can set uh, a new link called green, and down here we use the face for that, and that leads to, well let's run it, and now when this font locks you'll see that this has click me for a message, and if I click on it see down here that you clicked on on me so that's one of the new features is that links can have different colors and it's easy to get them we can also change the way links fold if you've ever used the uh, the double bracket where you have the the link here in the description normally that would be folded so like here I have it so that this DOI link is automatically folded and you just see the description but sometimes you want to see the first part and the second part and so you can, you can specify that by uh, setting the display function to full, or the display property, and then this red full link will be shown in full. Uh, so that's another uh, interesting feature. The tooltips, uh, so far I've just shown you as strings, but you can make them dynamic. So if you make a function that takes these three arguments, the window, the object, and the position, and you calculate a string from that, then you can define a dynamic uh, tooltip. So this one makes sure that you're looking at a link, and then it says it's looking at uh, percent %s with mouse at percent %s, and so that's going to show you what it's matched in the position. So as you move your, your cursor, you're going to get a tooltip. You can see that the position changes as you move it around, and this tooltip is actually dynamically calculated as you go. So that may have some uh, uses where the position is important or you want to change depending on what the path is uh, for that. Let's look at a, a better file link. So most of the file links in org just uh, open it and you can have some prefix args. Here I set an, a new file function to follow where we take the, a lambda function that has a path and I use helm to define either find file or org open file or maybe we open the file in dured uh, or copy an org link. So here is an example of a file. If I click on this, I can select to uh, say open it in Dured and it takes me right to the file in, in the directory mode. So you can imagine all kinds of good things uh, you could do with that. Now, another new feature is you can define a key map on a link so that if you are on a link and you want to jump to the next one or the previous one, you can define a key binding. So we can do control left and control right to jump up and down, uh, or you can have a control up or a, say, super mouse one that are bound to a special key map that's only active on the link. So here I define two functions that will search backward for uh, the, the link, search forward for the link, um, and then down here we specify the key map on this key M link, and we can define the left and the right uh, key bindings. Here we use uh, control up, and here we have super mouse one. So down here, if I'm on one of these links, I, I press control right and it jumps uh, to there, control left and it jumps there. If I do control up, then I get this message uh, box that just tells me it executed this uh, special function that I made. And if I press super, I get another function that says uh, that I clicked on super followed. So that gives you an idea of how functional you can make a link by putting an entire key map uh, that is specific to the link. 
Now another interesting uh, feature is that we can uh, we can have special completion. So here I have a function that defines how to complete, uh, say, a fruit link, and will allow four values: apple, orange, grapes, and kiwi. And this will give you a, an option for which one of those for completion. We also will then have a function for the face. So the face here is going to be dynamic as well. And if it's a member of, uh, if the path of the link is a member of this list, then we use a regular org link. Otherwise, we make it red, which is an indication that we have a path that's not uh, not allowed. Again, we use our uh, dynamic tooltip here, and we specify this dynamic uh, tooltip, dynamic face, and dynamic completion. So down here, you can see a couple of examples. This is a good one. This is a good one in brackets. This one is a bad one, and my tooltip tells you that it's an illegal value. And you can see how we how we get this if I type it in by hand. It starts out as red, and as soon as it's valid, it turns blue. So you could use it for validation. You can also do Control C, Control L, type fruit, and then it will give me the completion to put in, and that's uh, the completion that uh, that looks for. The store function or the store property is also a function. So here I define a store my headline function that will allow me to have my cursor on a headline and type control C L and that will store it. And then down here I can type control C control L and insert that uh, particular headline and it automatically inserts. And you can see wh what I did here was store uh, the type and the format and uh, the description and we defined a head link down here and so here is uh, here is that particular head link. Following it just opens it so it'll jump right to the headline as an alternative to other kinds of uh, ways to do it. All right so finally there is an activate function and that is when the loop activates or sorry when the link activates you may want to do some fancy stuff. So what I'm going to do here is create an RGB link that has three values, one for red, one for green, and one for blue. And we will color the first part of the link, the color of that RGB, and make each individual one red, green, and blue. And we'll define some functions to increment and, and, and decrement uh, to change those colors. So here is, here is a face uh, function that takes the path and, and converts it to a, a foreground color. And then we have a function here that starts, uh, has a start end path and whether we're on a bracketed link. And so what it does is grab the three components and uh, sets the, the face on each one uh, accordingly. So if it's red, green, or blue. We define some functions here that allow us to uh, increment a number. So here, this will just increment the number at point this will increment all three numbers at point. Uh, this will decrement all three numbers at points, and this will decrement one number uh, at the point. So it's a little complicated, but we make our RGB uh, link here, define the face, define the activate function, and a special key map. And you can see the links down here. Each one of these RGBs is red, green, and blue, so you know which one is which. You don't have to remember what order it is. And as you uh, type control control up you can see we're incrementing the numbers and if I type super up it increments all of them and you can also see that the color of the the link head changes in accordance uh, dynamically so that allows you to uh, you know explore things you can see how dynamic it is these three RGBs are, uh, are a light gray and there's just uh, some some subtle point that I mentioned in here about saving match data uh, in places like right here we have to save the match data uh, because this happens during the font lock and we don't want to disrupt that. All right, so that's a uh, fairly brief uh, overview of the new link features in org mode nine. Uh, you can play around with it and, and do a whole lot of new things that we previously had to do a lot of, of uh, hackery to make work, and now it works pretty smoothly. That's all for today.